let me ask you a question. Do you see the events that happen in your life and allow them to dictate to you how you see your life is going to be? Or do you look at it from a different perspective and see things a bit more positively and make the most out of every situation and see it as a step to get into your true potential? Because if that's the case, this is what I want to be talking about today on this video. You see, life can be like a bed of thorns or it can be like a rose garden. It really is down to you. Let me give you a quick example of something that happened to me recently. I have been losing my hearing on an ongoing basis for absolutely ages. And I've been feeling a bit down about it because I love my music. And when I listen to it lately, it sounded very much as though I've been listening to it in a cardboard box. And I've let it get me down. And my wife was talking to me the other day and she said to me, why don't you just go and get your ears tested? And so that's what I did. Now, I've got two hearing aids in and to be honest with you, they're not noticeable like I thought they'd be, so I don't feel any older than I actually did before. However, what has happened is that I've got the joy of actually hearing what's going on now. <laughs> so much so that we were watching the TV last night and Deb's asked me to turn the telly up because I've turned it down because I can hear so much better. And the perspective was just changed. I just changed the way I thought about it. And that made so much different to me. And now I've got the joy, if you like, of hearing things much better than they were. And you see, it was just a different perspective, just taking a different perspective on things that made all the difference. And the only way I can kind of give you an example of it, I suppose, is with... If you think about a football match, if you're in America, it's a soccer match. And there's been a free kick on the edge of the area and two players are stood side by side watching the defensive wall come up and they're looking at it they're looking at exactly the same view but they're both in two different positions one's here and one's here and one person says to the other this and the other one says to the other that and you see that's what a perspective is like it's like Instead of being two people, it's one person. I stand here and I look at it and think, hmm. And I stand there and I think, Ooh. And so that's, if you like, the way you have to look at things. You can continually look at things in a negative way. And it's not because you want to look at it that way. It's because, to be honest with you, it gets ingrained in a in our beings, if you like, from the people that surround us. But at some stage, I think you've got to make a decision where you say to yourself, do you know what? I don't want this anymore. I'm sick of looking at things and feeling bad. And you can just change the perspective on things right now this second where you are wherever you're sitting watching this I would say that if you're on a seat it's more comfortable than if you were sitting on the floor you'd be watching me either way wouldn't you if you were sat on the floor or if you were sat on a seat on a seat it's more comfortable and it's about changing your perspective to find the thing that is a bit more comfortable to you. I heard a story about this guy and he was looking around a town and thinking it's really nice here. I think I could like it here. 
and he's thinking of moving. And he goes up to one of the locals and he says to the, to the local, what's it like living here? This seems quite a nice town, what's it like living here? And the local looks at him and says, what's it like living where you live now? And he went, oh, I don't really like it very much. The people think they're better than they are. They talk down to you. They're really not very nice people. And the local looks at him and said, that's exactly what it's like here. And the point that he's making is that if you've got it in your head, one thing, you can move because you don't like a place and the place that you move to will be very much exactly the same and it's because you haven't changed your perspective on different things. Now I'm not coming at this little conversation if you like as though I know it all because I don't but I just kind of think that you have choices in life on what you're going to decide to do and if we're always thinking negatively things are never going to look great are they and so my suggestion is that if you have that tendency to think of things in a kind of negative way then perhaps it's time to change things. Each day we have the opportunity to think about so many different things and you have the choice of how you think about it. And only one of the ways of thinking about it is going to help you move on. And I suppose that's what you really got to think about. And for many people and I've done this myself, I've looked at the things that I haven't got in life and wished at times that I've had more. And yet, shouldn't you be grateful for what you've got? Wouldn't that seem a better way to go forward? Focusing on what you have is better than focusing on what you have not because the whole different feeling that surrounds about it optimism if you like makes you feel better it will make you feel as though you can achieve more because your thinking is different i read something the other day and i think it goes along the lines that pessimism is destructive realism lacks curiosity and optimism is limitless and isn't that so true the fact is you can't afford the luxury of a negative thought a negative thought is never going to help you move forward it's never going to make you feel better and at the end of the day don't you think this life should be better don't you think you should feel validated in what you're doing Focusing on what you have can lead you to more happiness, more gratefulness in life, I think. And it's important to be grateful because if you wait for the big things in life before you celebrate your life, you're going to have no joy because it can seem like a long old trudge. But if you start to see things from a different perspective and start to see the joy in things, you can find small things along the way that are going to help you. Now, if any of this has been making sense to you as I've waffled my way through this video, then please feel free to hit that like button. If anything that I have to say makes you think of somebody else who could perhaps hear it and it would be helpful to them, don't be afraid to share it. Because if they don't accept it anyway, it's not going to make any difference to their life, is it? You've got to try and look at things in a way that make you feel better. One of our greatest writers in this country, John Milton, 
he's second only to Shakespeare, said something about the mind and he said, and I'm paraphrasing this, that the mind in itself isn't one thing or the other. It's how you think of things. It can be a heaven or a hell. Thinking makes it so. And that's so true. Here's the thing. I think by just changing your perspective on the things, taking a little second to think about something in a different way can make all the difference to you. What I'm talking about is feeling better in yourself, getting more out of your life, getting more enjoyment out of your life as you go forward. And I also think that the more you can do that, the further forward you will go because you're not stunting your own growth. At my kind of age, what I think it does is it enables you to have a more peaceful kind of life. Because when you're miserable, you're just beating yourself up all the time. <laughs> you're just finding so much that can go wrong. And with that, kind of thinking your brain doesn't see the opportunities that come for you things in this life happen and it's all about whether you're in the right mindset and see it or not and i think it's a bit like if you're looking for a new car and you've got this one particular make in mind that you quite fancy have you noticed that when you go out driving you see tons of them absolutely everywhere it's like every other car is the one that you're thinking of well that's a bit like thinking positively because when you do you start to see more you're looking at from a different perspective you are seeing more and that's what i'm talking about and so that's about it for today really and as i'm trying to talk about things in a much more positive vein today <laughs> If you look up there, there's a video that tells you what optimism can do for you. I'll see you next time.